How do you feel to be back out there on the field? Felt great. Um, it's a little bittersweet. It's my first last day or last first day um, of training camp. So uh, I'm just going to soak it all in. I mean, I've heard from a lot of older guys and even um, guys who are now on the staff or coaches now telling me, you know, it's your last year. So try and soak it all in. So that's what I'm doing. Keller, that wasn't really the obvious first question. How's the swoosh and all the Nike gear? <laughs> uh, it's really good. Um, I like it. It's very comfortable. I wouldn't necessarily make, say it makes me faster. I'm already a big guy, so I don't know how much faster I can get. But uh, it's nice. Does it feel different, really? Um, I don't know. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say there's a huge difference. But it does. I mean, it does feel good being a Nike school. There's a sense from the outside that the expectations for this team are higher this year. Do you sense that as well from the inside? And just what are the differences you notice going into training camp now versus maybe a year ago? Or so? Oh, for sure, it's a, it's a, it's a lot different. Um, we we really have a target on our back now. We're not seeing it's just like the easy game on the schedule. Um, so teams are going to give us their best, the best that they have. And you know, Coach Jones reminds us that of every day. He's like, hey, you, you got a tar target on your back, so you better be ready. A lot of people talk about how the offensive line is the key to this team, that if it can come through, that this, this could be a special season. What do you guys feel about that? I love it. Uh, I, li I like having pressure on us. Um, I feel like it makes us better. So, I, you know, I really want it to be on us. And, uh, you know, everyone talks about the skill guys, and, you know, they're, they're young, but they're talented, and, and it's always a question mark with the old line, you know. But I want to show people that, you know, we're, we're the glue that holds it together. So. Can, can you see the improvement? I know it's just you know past, but this summer and everything. Can you see the improvement last year? You guys started two freshmen up there. You're so yeah. young, so many injuries. Does it just feel like a different unit? It definitely does. I mean, having a year under your belt makes a lot of difference. It re it really really does. I, I feel like I'm a totally different player than the start of last season, and I I, I think every offensive lineman feels that way. Mac and Marcus and Brett. I mean, they all feel different than they were last year, more mature and, and, and better as a football player. Kyle, you mentioned you're aware of the expectations. Does that change anything on the field? Any more intensity, anything like that? No, I mean, uh, we've always come out and work and, and just a relentless attitude and, and attacking every day. I mean, you can't you can't change just based off someone else's opinion. you got to come out there and attack it no matter what. Coach Jones noted yesterday, this is the first time since he's been here, that you make a 2 deep kind of scholarship offensive lineman. You know, could you, what is that? What's the competition like? How much different the causal? You know, uh, the healthy there, bodies? Yeah, there's definitely a competition, and, and Coach Mo reminds us of that. He's, you know, he says, you know, I'll, I'll take you out. I'll put somebody else in there if, if, you, if you're messing up. So, um, and competition always makes you better. It always does. And you know, I felt like when I was younger, competition with the older guys made them better. And I'm glad to see younger guys making me better. Can we have that competition all over the field, or it's just on your side of the ball, and then you guys are. Team periods, how much more competition do you see top to bottom? A lot. I mean, we, we have a lot more depth than we had before. Um, it, it's a totally different team than it was last year, and, and a lot of the freshmen are coming in now, and they're contributing just as much as the freshmen were last year. So um, those guys stepping up really makes a team a lot different. That's what about the board the control? Control? I mean, he he's a great leader, and, and it's it's great to see him um, being the starting quarterback. And named that guy, and, and you can see it in him. He's a lot more confident, which is which is great for us because we want a confident quarterback. So uh, having having all that is is making us a lot better. How was your going Richard. against Majit and uh, uh, Derek in practice? I love it. Um, you know, I, I didn't get to go against them much in the spring, and you know, I've been talking to Derek the whole time, saying, "When are you going to get out there? You know, I'm ready for you to beat me to make me better." Because everyone talks about how good you are. And if I can block you, then I can block anybody, right? So, I mean, I told him, I was like, I want some competition, man. I want you to come out there and show me something. You know, I haven't seen you in a while, and we just banner back and forth. So it, it's a healthy competition. I really love it. What is, Coach Jones is talking about how Jalen seems like he's more determined. This summer. Have you seen a change in him, just in his approach, how he goes about things? For sure, for sure. Um, Jalen is now 240. <laughs> so uh, that, that in itself... Is, is, is huge. I mean, the, the amount of determination he has to say, I'm going to put on this weight, I'm going to be the biggest back that I can be, and, 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 and go into my role as the big back. So, I mean, I love the fact that we have a 240 pound running back. It makes my life a lot easier as long as he doesn't hit me in the back. We're all good. <laughs> are, you, are you eager to see when you guys put the 
pads on, see what he looks like running at 240, throwing it that way. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm very eager. I can't wait to, to see him with his first, just truck. I want to see it. I can't wait. Can you talk, two more questions. When you talk about the improved depth, are you talking across the board or just in the offensive line? Oh, across the board for sure. I mean, when I was saying earlier with the freshman class last year, they're they're more mature this year than they were last year, and then another freshman class coming in, like 30 some odd guys. Um, really makes the depth huge at every position. I mean, you, you really got to step up your game or, or you're going to be put back in the twos and the threes. So um, all that depth makes for good competition, makes for a good team. Kyler, I know in the spring you said you were kind of settled in at left tackle. Has that been the case over the off the summer and into to camp? Yes, for sure. I'm, I'm still at left tackle, and I don't think, I, uh, I don't think I'm going to change unless there's a huge switch, somebody gets really badly injured. But um, knock on wood, I, I'm, I'm staying there. Thanks, Kyler. Thanks, Kyler. Thanks, Kyler.